It was my final year of med school. And before I could earn my degree, I was required to intern at either a hospital or nursing home. But since I missed the first week of school due to an extreme jet skiing accident, I didn't have the choice on where. I returned and the only available internship was at the St. Martin's Hospital and the Mental Asylum. My mother was quite distraught. The situation gave her a bad case of the heebie-jeebies. But after a few pep talks, I reassured her I'd be fine. But boy howdy, was I wrong. My first day on the job, I was assigned with supplying all the patients with suppositories. And for those of you who don't know what that is, it's the process of inserting medication into a patient's anus. Yeah, I know. Icky. Anyway, things were going smooth until it came time to help Sergeant Rufus. My boss warned me he was one of the more difficult patients and asked if I would like some assistance. It was a nice offer, but I declined. I entered the room and introduced myself. I informed Sergeant Rufus that it was time for his medication and without saying a word, he simply rolled over and lowered his pants. He then spoke in a soft voice and told me to spread his cheeks like butter and give him my best shot. It made me feel quite disturbed, but knowing this was my last stop to freedom, I ignored the comment and started the process. I began to insert the first pill, and to my displeasure, Sergeant Arnold started moaning. And under his breath, he said, Is that all you got, you big lip baboon? Disgusted, mortified, and slightly insulted, I again ignored him and continued doing my job. He requires quite a few different medications, and with each one, his moaning grew louder. After I finished, I washed my hands and asked if there was anything else I could do. He said no, but asked if I could just put something on TV for him. I said of course. I grabbed the remote and asked what kind of films he was interested in. And to my displeasure, he responded adult films. He told me Schindler's Fist was a personal favorite and that I should check to see if it was on demand. Not feeding into his buffoonery, I ignored him and suggested Medea goes to jail. And for whatever reason, that really set him off. After a brief pause, he told me the only way he'd watch a cross-dressing monkey was if the title was Medea Gets AIDS and Dies a Terrible Death. He then told me if I ever insult him with such a stupid suggestion again, he would slap the bitch out of me. Having had enough being disrespected, I admittedly lost my cool. I grabbed the old man by his shirt and let him know that I was a real ass nigger and that I don't play that hoe shit. I also informed him if he continued his antics, I'd beat the brakes off his punk ass. But his reaction wasn't what I expected. A smile slowly crept across his ashy and mildly chapped lips. And then he reached into his pocket and pulled out a tape recorder. Ah, shit. I said under my breath. His smile faded into a smirk. And then he asked if I knew what blackmail was. What do you want from me, old man? I shot back in a defeated voice. Sergeant Arnold informed me that he hadn't felt the touch of another human since the Reagan administration and that if I wanted him to delete the recording, I had to change that. He then told me what he desired. He wanted me to give him an old-fashioned wet Walter. Generational gap aside, I had absolutely no idea what the fuck that meant, but I knew it wasn't something I'd be willing to do. However, with what was on the line, I asked him to explain. The sick old bastard started licking his mildly chapped, frost-covered lips, 
He licked them like they were covered in yogurt or ice cream. Whilst his eyebrows shifted up and down faster than a child playing with a light switch. And during this overly sexualized advance, he let out a faint moaning noise under his breath. Like the old man from Family Guy. After about 30 seconds, he again began to speak. He told me that before we could proceed, I'd need to gather a few items. Which included a gallon of milk. A Super Mario Yoshi costume four bananas, and some Jergens hand lotion. A million different thoughts were going through my mind until I was brought back to reality by Sergeant Arnold. Hello, he said, like a sarcastic, egotistical ratchet skank in high school. Are you going to just stand there, or are we finna get this shit popping? I hit Sergeant Arnold with a quick right, Knocked him out. I reached in his pocket and grabbed the tape recorder. I ran out the room and signed his charts in another student's name. And then I got the fuck out of Dodge. That following Monday on the school website, I learned the student was arrested on elderly abuse charges. And luckily for me, the security footage at the time wasn't working. So there was no proof I was even there. Sergeant Arnold's medication clouded his memory, and he couldn't confirm or deny who assaulted him. Weeks passed and I finished my time at the hospital, earned my last credit and never looked back. I know what I did was wrong, but to be dead honest, I don't give a fuck. That old nigga had it coming, and if I catch him in the streets, it's heads on sight. On my mama, cuh. On Mama.